Say good afternoon, class. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. Good afternoon, class. be talking about dictionaries. But here's the difference. You don't have to write in them, thousand words, you're going to talk about how to use them. And now you have to be a little happy about that, ain't you? Yeah. Hey, I'll be having to write in them. I'll be having to write in them. Okay, so we're going to take a break from writing in them. Oh, yeah, this again. Alright, so let's go on. Pistols in, please. Even though the first slide is not on, the, uh, on your table. Everybody look at me. So our agenda for today. We're going to talk about, we're going to have fact or fiction. I'm going to state some statements, have some statements, some questions. And you're going to, this is going to, this is different. You're not going to do a red star, or green star. You're going to raise your hand, thumbs up or thumbs down, if you think it's a fact or a fib. Okay? So we're going to do a little different with that. Then we're going to have our guided lesson using print sources. Then we're going to have independent practice, which we might not get to today. We may have to finish tomorrow and have our review and closure. That also might be tomorrow. Any questions on what we're doing today? No, sir. All right, all right. So, let's get turned up. Let's get the energy going. All right. First thing, fact or fit. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody, close your eyes. How do you see no hands over my eyes? I just want to see your eyes close. Eyes close. No hands up eyes, boy. Eyes closed. That's it. All right. So, listen carefully. Eyes closed. Listen carefully. Do not open your eyes. Number one, personification gives non-human qualities to human things. I'm going to say it again. Personification gives non-human qualities to human things. Now, if you think that's a fact, you will raise your hand for thumbs up. If you think that's a, a fifth, Thumbs down. When I say go, I'll say it one more time. Let's say it again. Let's say it again. The sign of vacation gives non human qualities to human things. Go. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Eyes closed. Keep them closed. Open your eyes. Why do you think, why do you think that's a fact? Mm -hmm, you. Whoa, but what did I say? What did I say? I told you listen carefully. Why can't it's fit? It's not, you said not human quality to a human being. Okay. okay well, so what's wrong about that? What's wrong about that? You said it's fit. Tell me why. No, no. You mean quite exactly. How am I going to give non-human qualities to human names? It's the reverse, right? Yes. So I'm still going to give some turn up for them real quick. Turn up for them real quick. Yes. All right, all right. Number two, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Number two. Number two. Listen carefully. Facts cannot be proven. Listen carefully. Facts cannot be proven. I don't need to see the hands yet. Think about it for a second. Give you a second to think. A little wait time. All right, when I say go, you see them thumbs up or thumbs down? Go. Ooh, okay. Oh, my eyes. Okay, it's kind of, okay, we got general consistency. Why is that fit? Because you can search, like, you can go on the internet. We can see if it's true. In fact, send me what? Proven. Proven, exactly. All right. Number three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. My fault. I'm sorry. Turn your phone. Turn. All right. All right. All right. Number three. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Figurative language means what it says. Uh-uh. Hands down. Figurative language means what it says. Go. I just said. <laughs> Oh, guys, why, why is that a fit? Because they turn Exactly. They turn up, folks. <laughs> All right, number four, close your eyes. Number four. Now, listen carefully. Opinions are always up for debate. I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. I'm going to hear it. Opinions are always up for debate. Go. 
Let me see him high, that would be our shirt. We got a shirt, we're gonna lay a little low. Ah, raise him high. Opinions are always up for debate. Mmm, Obas. Why, Obas, why do you think that's fat? Why is that fat? Derek, why is it fat? It's a fat because opinions are not true. Opinions are not true. Okay, okay. It can't be proven. It can't be proven. There you go, turn up with Derek. Yeah. Close your eyes. See if you can get this one. Close your eyes. Mr. Kevin, personification requires a non-human thing and a human action. What? What? Oh. Personification requires a non-human thing and a human action. Give us a thing. Give us a thing. Go. Open eyes. Why is that bad? Uh -huh. Turn it up, Paul! Alright, alright, alright. So, let's continue on with our slide. Pistols in. Pistols in. Everybody, pistols in. Pistols in. Alright, so, what ask you? Think about it. If I don't know what a word means, what do I do? Raise your hand. If I do not know what a word means, what do I do? Get a dictionary. Get a dictionary. What else? What else can I do? Huh? Sounds it out. Okay. That didn't mean how to, how to say it, but I don't know how to, uh, what it means, though. Hmm? You somebody said dictionary? Contest clues. Okay, that's what I like. Contest clues. Yeah, I would have got. But go to the internet. Anything else? There. Separate the word. Separate the word. Separate the word. Separate the word. Uh, separate the word and use syllables. Clap twice. One more time. Last time? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, so we said it. If we want to look up a word, most likely we're going to use a dictionary. Okay, so that brings us to our lesson today. Let's go to it. Pencils in. Using the dictionary. That's where you should be at. Pencils in. You know to follow along when I finish. <coughs> if I stop, you finish. Okay, now. A dictionary is a reference book that tells you what a word means. How to pronounce. And it tells you how to spell. Okay, so a dictionary is a reference book that tells you what a word means, how to pronounce a word, and tells you how to spell a word. So on your papers, I want you to circle. Circle what a word means. I want you to circle how to pronounce a word. And I want you to circle how to spell a word. Everybody got that circle on your papers? Yes. Yeah. Circle on your papers. Okay, because those are three meanings that I want you to uh, remember when we go back to it later. I'm going to ask you about that. Okay? You got to tell me how that goes. So once again, the reference book tells you what a word means. It tells you how to pronounce it. How to spell Okay, spell the word. Okay, good job. Good job. Let's keep this energy up. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright? We move on to our next slide. Alright. So, let's take a look at a, a sample dictionary entry. Now, if I said, let's take a look at a sample dictionary entry. Somebody take a shot. Raise your hand. Take a shot at it. What do you think I mean by that? A sample dictionary entry. Take a look at him. It is no right or wrong right now. Look through it. Look at a word and see what it means. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So that brings us to our next thing. Simple dictionary entry. Let's talk about that. An entry unit. Everybody go on. Pencils in. Is on it. Pencils in. Is on your slide. That's right. You ready to got circle. I like that. That's look. I like that red. Ready to got circle. Entry unit. So see, um, let's follow along. Entry words. The words on a dictionary page. Also, we can also go by the word that's in bold on this dictionary page, the word that we're looking for. So for example, I'm my entry unit, I mean my entry word is unit. Somebody come up here and circle where in this dictionary, this dictionary page, 
Where is my entry unit? I mean, where is my entry word? Somebody go up here and circle. Circle it for me. Go ahead up there and circle. Where is my entry word on that dictionary page? Tear it up, for. So the word, um, the word that's in bold, the word that we're looking for. So if I don't know a word, if I say I need a word, uh, I'm looking for about. Now I don't know what about is. So I open a dictionary. What am I looking for? Somebody raise their hand. What am I going to be looking for? Give me something particular I'll look for. Mm -hmm. Ready? No, that's not what we're looking for. The syllable. The syllable. Okay. Now if I said the word about. Mm -hmm. Now I go in the dictionary. And it's an entry word. Where will I find entry word at? Oh. Where will I find entry word at? Before the meaning. Before the meaning, exactly. Thank you, mm -hmm. right? It will be before the meaning. Therefore, it's in the front and it's in bold, right? right? So let's remember that as we go through. Any questions on entry unit? No. No questions. You got that? Yes, sir. I don't see how I got that. You got yes. it? Yes. On to our next one. Alright, we have entry words. Everybody, pencils in. Let's go to the next slide, which should be using the dictionary. Everybody, pencils in. Pencils in. I need to see pencils in. Using the dictionary. Now, with these, we have a couple terms that we're going to go through and we're going to figure out what they mean. So, for our first one, entry words, we know they are the words on a dictionary page. So, we know they also can be found where? In the dictionary, but where on the dictionary? In front of the meaning. In front of the what? Definition. In front of the definition, in front of the meaning. Exactly, okay. So we can go ahead and, you know, I guess we can check entry words out. You're pretty sure on that. Okay. So, what about guide words? They are the first and last words on the page. On the page. The guide words are the first and last words on the page. So, in this sentence, I want you to circle the first and last words on the page. Circle that for me, please. Or underline it. And you see, circle or underline it. Okay, next one, word forms. We got play. What else? Play, play, play. Exactly. Okay, so we know we have different types of word forms. So, just because I said play, I could also be playing. Or I could have played. First of all, what what um what tense is played? Is it uh, present, past, or future? Mm -hmm. Somebody raise their hand. Cause we learned this before. It's the played. Is it present, past, or future? Past. Past. Exactly. Thank you. Good job. Okay. If I said I'm playing, is that present, past, or uh, future? Present. Exactly. Thank you. All right. So we're pretty sure about that. Circle. You know, we're going to circle the past and we're going to circle the ing, eg, and the place. Now, cross reference, this is a little different. So, you need to focus on this one. Everybody, listen up. Cross reference tells you to see each other word for more information. So, in our example, we have radiators. Where do radiators go? No, not radiators. That's it. It says, on this one, it says, see also car. So, where do radio go? I mean, a radiator. In a car, right? A radiator is in a car. So, if, um, if the term was radiator, and I was trying to look that up, and, was, and they have a lot of information, they say, see also car. Why? Because it belongs in cars. Therefore, it might have more information on the radiator in the car section, right? So that's called a cross-reference. That means if it doesn't have enough information for that term, in that one definition, it'll tell you to see another word. That it have more information for you. Are we clear on that? Yes, yes sir. I want you to circle this one, see also. That's going to be the key term to let you know that's a cross-reference. Circle C also. Yeah. All right. Next one. Everybody should know this. Illustration. What is that? A picture. A picture. Exactly. A picture of the entry word. So, for example, we had um, our entry word was monkey. It would have a picture of a monkey. Right? It would be a nice big monkey up there. Right? Exactly. So that's all. So, we're pretty clear on that one. For this one, if you see S, what you, what's that word? Singular. What does singular mean? Raise your hand. One person, okay, one thing. You saw PL, that means what? Plural. And that's more than? One. Okay, that means more than one, exactly. Now this one, 
Abbreviation means to shorten a word. So instead of Monday, I say Monday. Instead of Tuesday, I say Tuesday. Instead of Wednesday, I say Wednesday. Instead of Thursday, I say Thursday. Instead of Friday, I say Friday. Friday. Instead of Thursday, Friday. Instead of Friday, I say Friday. Instead of Friday, I say Friday. Friday. All right, all right. So I want you to that way. I want you to circle um, to shorten. Show the word, okay? It's certainly a little example. Right. Instead of Monday, good month, okay? Mm -hmm. And you see that circle on everybody's paper. Are we pretty, are we pretty clear on the uh, key terms? We're going to go yes, more in depth. Well, are we pretty clear? Yes, yes sir. Okay, we kind of think we know a little bit about it. That's okay. We're going to go more in depth on all of this. Let's see if that erases my little marks. All right. All right. Next slide. Let's go to, it should say, guide, it, guide words. Here we go, they are the first and the word on your page. So, somebody come up and circle my guide words in this picture. Circle my guide words in this picture. Come up. So please circle my guide words for me. Where are my guide words at? We know they are the first and last words on the page. So where would the guide words be at? And what would they be on this page? You just help? Up, what's up? Mm -hmm. Up, up, up. Oh, what's that? My mistake, my mistake. Go ahead. Now nah, go ahead and try. All right. Uh, where is that? Oh. She right, class? Yeah. yeah. Last words on the page. Okay, so in this in this example, it'll be succeed, and then it'll be sub. Right? That's what we'll be at. Now, if I had a dictionary, everybody had to get a dictionary. No, we're not going to have you right. Don't worry about that. <laughs> if I had a dictionary, and I went to this page, where would where would my God words be at? I know y'all can't see it, but where would my God words be at? Where would be two God words? That's it. Play for class. And what else? And gal, yeah, exactly. Okay, so we know. We have to take every time we look at the dictionary, and we look for the God words, it's going to be at the top. It's going to be our first word and our last word, meaning this will be at the bottom, mm -hmm. and uh, this word will be always be at the top. That's always a reference to look for when you're um, looking at God words. All right, let's move on. Any questions on God words, actually? No, sir. Are you pretty clear on that? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Making sure. Okay. Let's move on. Move on to word forms. So we talked about this already. We talked about how they got different word forms, different tenses. So instead of my example, laugh, I'm laughing. Give me, somebody give me some good examples of different word forms. Some good examples, some other words. Cane. Cane. Exactly, okay. Talk. Mm -hmm. Good job, okay. Okay, there, what you got? There's, there. There. Mm, now you talk about something a little different. Mm. E, uh, eight. Huh? E, Did? eight. Are they right, class? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little different, a little right. Yeah. They turned up for them. Oh. All right, so we know, so we pretty much play our word forms, aren't we? So on your papers, I think it's on your papers. I want you to pencil in. I want you to circle, circle um, this type of word we're talking about. And the ing, plain, play, and plays on your paper. Circle that. You refer to your notes. You always look at that. You say, okay, these are my different type word forms. This is how I know it's different type word forms. Okay, everybody got that? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All right. Keep it going. Let's go to this next one. Which is using the dictionary. All right, everybody go to that um, slide. Using the dictionary. Everybody can add that on your, on your paper. 
Good job. I see, I see you already see some people who are struggling things. Great job. Great job. You ain't know what to do. Okay, first one. Sample sentence helps you to better understand a definition. Now, what somebody tell me what would be a sample like for example, well I said example, right? What would be a sample sentence? Anybody been a spelling bee? Anybody been a spelling bee? Using spelling bee? It doesn't matter, any time spelling bee. Okay. When they give you the word, you when they give you the word, what what's a couple of things you can ask for? I'm asking her right now. Hands down. When you're in spelling bee, what's some names you can ask for after they give you work? See what it means. What else? Help out. Use the spelling bee. What else? You can ask for the definition. What else? What else? Can you what? You can ask the what? Can you what? Use it in a. Sentence. sentence, right? Exactly. Use this sentence to give you the meaning. So a sample sentence basically is giving you an example. Now we're gonna know that it's a sample sentence because it's gonna be slanted, and it's gonna be in italics. So I want you to circle uh, slanted in italics on your papers. Circle that point. Circle that one point. That's how we're gonna know it's a sample sentence. Now, pronunciation. How the word is pronounced. Let's look at my example. We got slim. Somebody tell me how is this word being broken down? How would you break it down? Based on how they how they got it in the um, dictionary, how would you break it down? Raise your hand. How would you break it down? How would you say it? Huh? Say it, how you do it? Everybody go. Slim. Slim. Okay, so. There's that. So in a dictionary, it's going to be pronunciation. You're going to know um, how to pronounce it because it's going to be, have, first of all, it's going to be slanted. When we slant the word, it's going to have quotations. Okay, in parentheses, I'm going to tell you. You have in parentheses. So I want you to circle the example. It's going to be slanted and it's in parentheses. That's how you're going to know it's the uh, pronunciation part in the dictionary. All right, next one. Somebody raise their hand and tell me that word. What is this word? How do you say this word? Syllabication. And that is show how the word is what? Divided. Oh my God. Exactly. Now, sure, I know Miss Katie taught y'all how to do this, a certain way that y'all do it. So as a class, we're going to do it with my example, advertisement. Okay? So in count of three, I want you to do it the way yeah, Miss Katie had taught you how to do it. I'd break it down to uh, different parts. Okay, one, two, three. One more time. Advertisement. Two times now. Advertisement. Three times now. Advertisement. Four times now. Advertisement. Bring it back now, y'all. Advertisement. Okay, so we got that under control. Now, if I said magazine, magazine, on the count of three, I want y'all to break that up for me. One, two, three. Again. Magazine. Two times. Magazine. Three times. Magazine. She the only one got it. Okay, next one. Y'all pretty much got that. But I want y'all to circle. Mm -hmm. Word is divided into parts. Circle that for me on your papers, please. Pencil in. Circle that. Circle that. I know you're ready for the next one. Circle that. All right, next one. Parts of speech. So first of all, look at all of this. Somebody tell me. Well, raise your hand and tell me different types of uh, parts of speech. Now, what else? Uh, what else? Uh-huh. Uh, mm -mm. What else? You got something else? Adjective. Adjective. Oh. Miss something else? Uh, adverb. Adverb. Now, yeah. what's it now? Person, place, or thing. Good job. What's the adjective? Mm -mm, we talking about different uh, prior speech. What's a uh, what's a verb? Somebody tell us a verb. It gives action. Give action. Okay. Now an adjective. We talking about adjective. Now if I was some adjective and I was looking at my suit, I said this is a nice shiny gray suit. <laughs> what what? And now I, I gave an adjective. What would be uh? What what am I doing to? What am I doing? I'm doing what to the suit? 
I'm telling y'all, how about, what am I doing? You like adding more details. Details, so I'm doing what? Mm -hmm. so, describe, describe it. Describe it, exactly. Thanks. Clap twice. Time. Time. Yeah. All right, all right, exactly. So, everybody go ahead and circle. You know what to do. Circle your pumpkin. Circle your pumpkin. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go back to that later on. Now, last one. How is that pronounced, class? Last one. Where is that sound? What's up, son? So what? Am I talking to the sun in the sky? No! Now, if I said this sun is burning me up, am I, what am I talking about? The sun in the sky! The sun in the sky, right? But they were a sound. Yeah. It's spelled different. It has different meanings. Exactly. All right, somebody give me another example of a homophone. What's a good one? Another example of what the may be. Dirt. Eight. Eight? Okay, what? Eight and what? Explain it for me. Mm -hmm. Um, the number eight and you eat. Exactly. Great job. Clap it up, boy, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I turned out for the man. <laughs> I want y'all to circle spelled differently, and I want y'all to circle different meanings. And along with that, you might as well go ahead and circle out there. Exactly. So you have something to look to for the example. Okay, everybody get that done for me, please. So, any questions on so far what we're going on? Oh, oh, sir. Sir. Is that, is that mm -hmm. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, okay, you have fun with it? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep this going. Let's keep Turn that train goes. All right. Somebody say turn up for me. Turn up. Turn up for me. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. All right. Let's, let's keep on going. Let's get to our next one. All right. So moving on. This one, um, a lot of y'all that might not have it. So we're gonna look at the board because um, the, the slides are double sided. So we're gonna print some more out for y'all tomorrow. But we're not gonna make print this today anyway. So we're gonna look at the board for this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we went over a couple things. Entry words, guide words, pronunciation, part speech, and all these symbols that's going to be in the dictionary when we go look for a word. So, what I need right now is one person to come up here, and I want you to circle our entry word. I need to circle our entry word. Come circle our entry word on that wall, please. Go ahead and circle that word, please. Let's see if we get it right. It's his time. Is he right? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Talk about what breaks it? Where is it? 
Explain to class what a guy word is. Hmm? You can go up there. You can go. Alright, his turn to shine. His turn to shine. What do we got? What do we got? What's a guy word? Hmm? Need a little help? You don't need a buddy? Call on a buddy. Me, me, me. Shit, he, can't, he can't call on you if, if, you, uh, if you're loud. You're talking. He's not sitting in your seat right. If you slouch it, he can't call on you. Come on, here, what? Tell me, please tell us what a God word is. A God word is, is at the top of the dictionary. Top dictionary, okay, the top place, and what else? And it's the first and last one. First and last, turn it off! Alright, now, next one, entry word. Entry 
cross reference. Mm. Cross reference. Mm. Hey, you got to think about that one, huh? Yeah. Think about that one. Take time. Cross reference. Not to mention in the notes. So we went over. Cross reference. Oh. Mm -hmm. I need a strong supply. Strong puppy. Come up here, please. I need you gotta get this one. You gotta get this one. What what when I say cross reference, what, what are we talking about again? Everybody, get now. Let's focus on him. What we got? So go ahead, use the one. You got it? You going the right way. To tell another what? So if I got a word and I cross reference it, what am I doing? Huh? Tell me what it means, but how? Huh? Extra information where? Where would I go for the extra information? To where? To where the dictionary? To another what? To another what? If I got a word, I cross reference it, and you just told me to tell extra information, I'm going to go where? To another what? Need a buddy? Need a strong buddy. Matter of fact, the whole class going to be your buddy there, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I have a word, I cross reference it, and, and you see this told me, it's to give you extra information. I'm going to another word. Word! Hey. Here we go. Turn up, everybody. Hey. That's right. All right, now, we're going to um, stop right here. Because that's the first half of our, uh, our lesson on uh, dictionary. We're going to continue tomorrow. I got another half for y'all. Y'all want another half? Yeah. Y'all want another half? Yeah. Yeah. All, right. All right. So we got another half for tomorrow. So what you do now is just focus on your notes. Study your notes when you leave. And make sure that you're looking over what we did today. Because I'm going to ask you, what did we do yesterday? Now I'm going to need somebody to tell me something. I might have some tricks for you. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Maybe not. Who knows? But. I want y'all to tell me what we did yesterday. Is that clear? Yes. yes sir. Is that clear? Yes.